stop where you're going and turn around. It is the highest level of greenhouse gases for the last 20 million years, right now. And we have no idea what will happen at that level, and the level is increasing. As we keep thinking COP21, COP22, COP23, that somehow if all these government leaders get together that something's going to happen, almost nothing happens. Let's be honest. Those leaders come and go. It's, poli it's politicized, but people really care about it. And the difference in Drawdown is that we modeled solutions that are in place already. The number one solution shocked us, by the way, but is managing refrigerants. In other words, the gases that are used in air conditioners and refrigerators. And the reason is number one is because those gases are one, two, eight, ten, twelve thousand times more powerful than CO2 in terms of their greenhouse warming potential. Number two is onshore wind power, which didn't surprise us. And, but number three is um, reducing food waste. That surprised us. Um, and number four solution is to change our diet. And not to be vegetarian, if you want, yes, of course, uh, that's fine. But to reduce the amount of protein that people eat, especially in the West, where they eat 80, 90, 100 grams of protein every day, the healthy amount is 50, 55 grams. But I think it's very, very important to understand that the most impactful solutions are that, but we need all of the solutions in order to achieve drawdown. If we didn't understand why there is extreme weather, you know, we had no understanding of that at all, we would still want to do 98 of those solutions because they have so many benefits for clean water, clean air, clean food, for children, for prosperity, for jobs, for habitat, for, I mean, the, the, the benefits are just incredible from each of these solutions. So you don't have to be a militant, if you will, about global warming or even an activist to want to enact and accelerate these solutions because we all benefit from them.